What's up, everyone? This is Max Red. Today, we're going to dive into the vocal chain used by The Weeknd's longtime producer, Elangelo. Several years ago, there was an in-depth article in Sound on Sound magazine where Elangelo shared the Cubase project showing his plug-in chain and his signal routing for the Hills track on the Beauty Behind the Madness album. I'll break it down and show you how to recreate that distinct Weeknd sound using only Cubase stock plugins. So let's get started. For our vocal, we'll be using a vocal sample from the newly released Cymatics Infinity Pack. It's a great production pack with high quality samples. I'll put a link for it in the description below. Let's hear it. God must miss you. Cause where did you come from? Where did you come from, baby? Like the water. You made me desire. But it's so dark, baby. Notice that the file came in stereo format. We just simply bounced out a second version in mono, and we'll make that our main lead vocal. We'll try to recreate the plugin chain directly on our lead vocal. On Nilangelo's main, he had Antares Autotune, Fab Filter Deesser, Fab Filter Pro Q, Waves Vocal Writer, UAD EQ, and Fab Filter Multiband Compressor. The only non Cubase plugin we'll use in our signal chain is Waves Tune Real Time to achieve the auto tune effect, but we could get away without using it. We then add the Cubase DSer the frequency EQ, and our last plugin will be the stock multiband compressor. We'll be omitting any substitute for the Waves Vocal Writer and the UAD EQ. Next, we route the main vocal lead to a group track called Lead Verse Group. We also route our parallel tracks to that same group track. We have two parallel tracks that are dry and have no effects on them whatsoever. Now we create an effect track for both of our parallel tracks. We'll just name this track our lead effect. For the Hills album, Elangelo created an effect track loaded with Sound Toy's Little Radiator and the UAD 1176 compressor. For our effect, we'll use the vintage compressor and the tube compressor right after it. We then create sends from both of our parallel tracks to the lead effect track. For the vocal effects, Elangelo created five different effect tracks with sends coming from the lead verse group. His five effects in order are audio ease out to verb seven, UAD Echo, Waves Doubler, Fab Filter Timeless, and Audio Ease Alta Verb 7 again. Our version of the effect tracks using only the Cubase plugins are Roomworks, Stereo Delay, Stereo Enhancer, Stereo Delay again, and Reverence as our reverb. Notice how I have named the five effect tracks as First Reverb, Short Delay, Widen, Long Delay, and second reverb. The next step is that we created five sends from our lead verse group to each of our five effect tracks in order. Before we listen to our lead vocal, let's summarize what we did. We created a mono track for the main lead we routed our main and our parallel tracks to a group track. We created an effect track with sends coming from both of our parallel tracks. And we created five effect tracks with sends from our entire vocal group. Let's listen to our main vocal now. God must miss you. 
Cause where did you come from? Where did you come from, baby? Like the water You made me desire Body so dark, baby Where do you Where did you come from? Now let's listen to the original dry version and do an A-B comparison of the two versions of our vocal. Where did you come from, baby? Where did you... Cause where did you come from? Where did you come from, baby? Now that we've dialed in our vocal, I'll show you what our project could sound like with an instrument track and some backing vocals. Today we took a different approach to our vocals. I definitely look up to Elangelo and The Weeknd for being innovative and pushing the limits of what music can be. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment to see more videos like this. Thank you. Yeah.